Hey guys, welcome back. I'm posting again. Today though, of my kind of New Year's resolution challenge here is healthy eating. A lot of people struggle with this. It's hard. Fast food tastes great. Tastes real good, but it's real bad for you. So I'm heading over to Hannah Hart's house and we're just gonna have a little sit down chat about cooking and our relationships to food and cooking tips to make it not so hard on yourself because I live alone and it's, it's hard to cook for yourself every day because it's just for you. So yeah, let's go. Hey guys, I'm here with Hannah Hart. Hello. Without the E. Yep. That is how you spell it. Correct. Thanks for watching. My name is Christine Sidelko, spelled S-Y-D-E-L-K-O. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, we're just here today at Hannah's place. She was nice enough to have me over, and we're gonna just talk about food. Yeah, we're gonna talk about food. Well, Christine, you texted me being like, hey, I wanna make a cooking video, and I do on my channel a show called My Drunk Kitchen, so I assumed what you wanted to do is like, ooh, My Drunk Kitchen, let's get wasted, let's eat eat something bad, etc, etc. Which is good. Which is great. And yeah. Yeah, but it's not the case. It's not. I'm a changed woman. New year, new me. New year, new you. New, new. New, new. New, new. It's hard to change, man. Yeah, it is. At the end of last year, decided to give up fast food and soda. Whoa! Which I've been pretty true to. I think I've had it like twice, like since I gave it up. So it's been a couple months. Boom! But I hate cooking. I don't have the patience for it. I don't have the knack for it. I make a mess. I live alone. So like it's really hard. That's hard. You know? Yeah, you it's know. really hard. It's why I came to you, Oprah. Thank to tell you. me how to. <laughs> oh my God, I've never felt more honored. In my life. <laughs> That's hard, you know. But always perspective, right? Kids in you know Ethiopia don't have anything to eat at all. Right. Thank you for making me feel bad. No problem. I do it to myself constantly all cool. day. Cool. I used... the least you could do is to spread it around a little. Okay. So the number one hurdle. Okay, man. Turtle. Turtle. Here's some tips. Donatello. Michelangelo. Valentino. The rat. Michael Kors. Dolce & Gabbana. <laughs> here are my cooking tips and tricks. Yeah, let's get a graphic in here. <laughs> Let me start by asking you some questions. Yes, I love talking about myself. Perfect. What do you like to eat? Chicken. What kind of chicken? Just chicken breast with different seasoning. Okay. I really love Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's, it's just meat and vegetables, really. I think it's important when you're starting to cook to give yourself like a realistic expectation of what it's going to be like. like. I would like to not burn it. That's a great goal. Also, cook it enough so you don't get sick. That is also a very, very good point. Bet you didn't think of that. Did not. I forgot. <laughs> How does being in the kitchen make you feel? Stressed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. It's like the heat. I get scared of the oven when I open it if it's too hot. I'm like, you are very my glasses jumpy. flog up. I'm like, ah. I'm like blind. I'm like, ah, I gotta reach in this f***ing furnace. Like, gotta stand the whole time. Standing is hard. So start with 15 minute meals. Like meals you can make in 15 minutes. <laughs> Rachel Ray. Whoa! Oh, she's 30 minutes. If you set like a time limit for your recipes, like I think that this is something people don't even think about, right? It's like if you're trying to cook for the first time, you're just gonna think of something like, oh, I love eggplant parmesan, maybe I'll try and make that. But that's like master class. That's right? Gordon Ramsay sh That's Gordon Ramsay sh so give yourself a time limit. Look up recipes that only take 15 minutes to do. It's true. I have this one salmon recipe where literally you just put like three ingredients together. That's the glaze. Put the same glaze over the asparagus. Put the same asparagus and the same salmon in the same pan. pan. And you put it in the same oven and you eat them at the same, same time. <laughs> it sounds like you get kind of passionate about cooking. Dude, I hate it and I love it. Because I love eating but I hate making it. Okay, so one pan. A, we got make something that you like. B, time it. Give yourself a time limit. C, clean up, right? No cleaning. F clean up. One Iron pan. Maid. Are you busy? You got a call? Got a Snapchat from my college roommate. Let's find out. It's a video. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. I care about this. That's nice. What did you study in college? Political science. Poly science? Yeah, I was a technical non-proliferation policy support assistant at Argonne National Lab, which was a part of the Department of Energy. That was my job before YouTube. Oh. Oh my God, what an entrance. She's a queen. Dude, you're naked. She's like a chicken. Oh, you're naked as f Come on. Here we go. Yeah, you gonna say hi? Oh my God. Hi. hi. Ooh. Is it a girl or a boy? She's just got a big vagina. Oh, that's really saggy. She's a former breeding cat. Oh my Scooter. dog. She's six years old. She's a breeding dog. So does she have a big vagina? She do got a big vagina. <laughs> she, she do. do. Speaking of big vaginas. We called her Lil Voldy for a while. Like Lil Voldemort. Cause she looks oh, just like- Oh, I thought you said Lil Vulva. <laughs> I was like, I get it, you're gay. <laughs> 
So let's think about things that can be helpful to you. Cooking advice from the pros. Yes. We talked about giving up soda. I want to talk yeah. about that. Yeah, I gave up soda like three or four months ago and it was really hard. That's fine hard yeah you're addicted to it man you are literally addicted to soda when you are trying to give it up it's like detoxing yeah i would get headaches because of the lack of caffeine so i just start drinking coffee have you ever thought about tea i don't like a lot of teas i like flavored teas there's a lot of good teas out there that you can drink if you're trying to replace your caffeine intake coffee's great but coffee also uses a <gasps> we just figured out why you've been getting anxiety lately because you switched to coffee what does that mean coffee uses cortisol which is a stress hormone to keep you awake that's how coffee keeps you awake it stresses you out. Is that why I get scared when my doorbell rings? There might be some deep stuff <laughs> there, you know? But that's a different day right. for a different cool. day. A different video. I just got a Keurig for Christmas. What are you doing? Ah, uh, ruining Christmas. <laughs> Do you get bored when you're cooking? Is it that you don't like what it is at the end? Uh, yeah, I get bored. I'm very bad at like task management, mm. uh, time management, and like I always somehow find the hardest way to do something. Mm. Yeah, well the good news is, is that with things like that chicken, you can just salt, pepper, a little oil, garlic, etc. pan, pan, psh, 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 cook. Cooking mama. Cooking mama. Wonderful. Better than mama. Yeah, have you tried cooking with friends? Is that, oh. I thought it was like a game, like words with friends. <laughs> This Literally is why I'm scared friends. about your generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a millennial. Wow. Yeah, no, cooking with friends, like making it an activity. I haven't. Oh, or like one of those um, food off. things. Blue Apron or any of that stuff? Oh. I do it for an ad. Okay. My, okay. At Blue Apron. At Blue Apron. Hey, I like your cute little look. <laughs> for hey, an ad. Blue hey, Blue Apron. Hey, Blue Apron. Tee hee. Shoo. Have you thought about eating bugs? Never. There's a whole industry coming around the corner about bug protein. Dude, I like I see that shit on the Travel Channel and I'm like, bloop. No, nope, not gonna happen. Not yeah. today, Satan. Not today, Andrew Zimmer, and you f asshole. <gasps> Just kidding, I love him. I'm sure she doesn't mean that. Do you know him? Yeah. Oh my god. I've also met Whoopi Goldberg. Have you met Anthony Bourdain? I saw him walk by a room. Oh once. my god, I don't know if I want him to be my dad or not. I think he is your dad. You're both very tall. I did not know how tall Christine was. I was shocked. I'm six feet tall because She's I'm six... always sitting. Well, you're pretty You're short. like Carly Claus. Who's that? She's supermodel. Why does that sound familiar? I, it sounds you're, familiar. I know I've heard of her. you to start a solo channel, man, you gotta take the reins. Oh, take the reins. I don't know. Oh, look, I'm just gonna be quiet and you gotta, okay, okay, okay. You gotta lead the way. You've ever been to Ikea? You know, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you, what, what, like on a typical day, what would you cook for yourself, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner? In my opinion, my relationship with food is something I've really put a lot of time and thought into. I know I'm somebody that's gonna forget, oh, I ran out of time, I'm late for something. So I have a lot of grab and go kind of stuff. Like deli meat is something, turkey meat is something I have to have in my fridge, because I'll literally go and like grab some turkey meat, grab some cheese, and just leave. I a meat and cheese platter. Right? So there you go, start with that. Man, maybe instead of cooking, maybe you just start with making like a platter. Go to funerals, go to wakes. Go to, <laughs> go to quinceaneras. Just get Scour it. your local Scour. community for meat and cheese platters. Take them back to Take your house. Take them to your home, store them in the fridge. Eat them as you see fit. Periodically. I believe in saying yes to how you live your life. I think that like when people try and like learn to cook or like be more comfortable in the kitchen, they have this idea of the person they wanna be instead of the idea of embracing and improving the person who we are, which is already good enough. I just thought I was gonna learn how to cook, but I just got free f***ing therapy. <laughs> I feel like learning how to cook is learning how to say yes to you and operating from there. That's so great. I've been trying to become a whole new person, but I just need to become a better me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, well, thank you, Oprah. No problem, Bob. Wait, yeah. I have a question. So you don't drink at all? I gave it up, yeah. No you more don't. fireball. Okay, no more drinking, but you know what? You can come by and we can still do a kitchen together. I did a My Stoned Kitchen with Sarah Silverman. Well, I'm no Sarah Silverman, but I sure do love smoking weed. Well, there you go, me too. You guys leave a comment if you think Christine should come to my channel one more time. And, and leave a comment if you think Hannah's overstepping her bounds and is hella rude. <laughs> I know, it's all true. No, I appreciate that so much. I hate outros, they're so dumb. It's so, it's so hard. hard, it's so hard. I am very pushy, I'm sure you can tell. No, I like it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I can literally kill you. We have to decide to call the police or hide the body. We gotta drag you upstairs into the bathtub and like chop you up and shit. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I'm doing videos and making videos and posting videos and hopefully you will be watching those videos. So go check out Hannah's channel. We filmed a video where I guess, we guess, vegan substitutes. Yeah. Vegan shit.
and we ate it and some was good, some was bad. You'll have to find out. Was there a spit take? Did my evil twin show up? Find out more below. So let's talk about cooking and eating human meat. What's the best cuts 